So we're at the 2023 Nobham Way uh, show and ride. And I have here Cole Larson. He has a couple of pretty unique rear engine sleds. And then this um, old Polaris, is that right? Arctic, yeah. 1963 Art. Model 100. So we'll let him go ahead and talk about it. Go ahead. This is a 1963 Model 100. They normally came with a six and a half horse motor. This one has an eight horse in it. This came from a friend of ours that passed away. It's rough, but she runs and drives. All original. She said originally came with a six horse, but this is, has an eight, eight horse, horse in it. All right. From my knowledge, it came factory with the eight horse. It's considered a D model. Okay. And what year did you say it was again? 1963. 1963. So this is technically first year for Arctic Cat 100, but there were prototypes in 1963. Well, that's awesome. Now, who makes that? Is that a Kohler motor? This is a Kohler motor. Okay. Very neat machine. No brakes. It's got wood slides underneath of it. Chain drive, open chain case. Wood slides. That's awesome. So one of my favorites from your collection is this. Now I didn't even know that an iron bug was made. I've, I've, I've seen these before. A lot of people have seen these, the snow bugs. And the president of the museum, Charlie, has a super bug. Um, some of you may have seen those. My son actually got to ride in a super bug, so that was fun. Uh, but then I saw pictures on Facebook of this, an iron bug. So basically the same company that made the aluminum one, made one out of iron. And uh, this thing's a beauty. Go ahead and talk about it. This is a 1969. I'm not sure how many years they went. I was told 68, 69, or I was told 69, 70. No one's really too sure. My understanding, this is the second one known to man. There's this one, and there's one in Canada. This is Serial 10. Wow. It's been totally restored a few years ago. Some people say it's not the original color, but they're all different color. They asked you what they you wanted them painted as. Huh. It's got a 22 horse sack motor in it. It's got a forward and reverse transmission. It's got one wide track under it. It's got an open chain case. This so one wide track and it looked like it also had wood slides yes all right you say so it have has forward and reverse now does this have a two speed forward no only one speed forward okay. the lever is right here between your legs all the way down forward all the way up reverse i have not yet to find a neutral on it it's got electric start and this is a iron bug love bug which means you can sit two people side by side in it nice so i don't Hope you guys heard all that. So it's an iron bug love bug. That means it's, you can sit side by side in it. Um, the, the big thing is that there's two that are known to exist. Uh, this one here that Cole owns that's at the museum. And then also uh, there's one he said that's in Canada. So if anybody that's watching this knows of any other, uh, drop a comment or uh, we can even get you in touch with Cole because I'm sure he'd love to know more of the history behind these. Uh, possibly, a, he says a 69, and they maybe made them in 70 as well. And uh, something different about the iron ones is you could get them painted whatever your color was uh, versus the little aluminum snow bug ones obviously came in uh, the bright metal. So. And then another great machine that he has, I, I love this one because of the patina. But Cole is a... Uh, definitely a fan of the rear engine and he has been on the the vintage rear engine ride this year which uh the, is this your first year doing the rear engine first year doing the rear engine we do a hundred mile <coughs> rear engine ride in three days so they got three days where they do 100 miles up here in the upper peninsula of michigan near the uh pretty much based out of the museum 
And uh, unfortunately, this year there was one day that was rained out, right? One day that was rained out, so we <laughs> rode it to the cabin for lunch today. We did good, and I'm going to drive it for the night ride as well to make up on some miles that we missed. So you had two days of the rear engine ride, plus today, and they're going to ride it tonight. So how many miles do you think you put on this? It'll be a little over 75, 80, somewhere in there between the three days altogether. So what, some people, some people might not even get a 75, 80 mile ride out of a modern machine. Here's one that's going to do that. And this is a 1963 Flares K70D, all original. Minus the seat that's been redone. Uh, had new wood runners put on it. It is made out of conveyor chain with seat clips for the cleats to go on. And this has a seven horse Kohler on it. Awesome, seven horse Kohler. And what year again did you say? 1963. 1963. Awesome patina on it. So it's really a neat piece. So what kind of speed do you get out of this? Well, it all depends on the snow conditions. You can either get a high average anywhere from eight to 12 on this, depending on the snow conditions. Okay. Some of them go a little faster. The trail makers were quicker sleds and the ones with the bigger engines were quicker. All right. So now three days, 100 miles, so you're averaging about 33 miles a day. Uh, what's the range on a fuel tank of that capacity? I've only, all, I'd only use about half a tank a day. Half a tank a day, awesome. So the little uh, seven horse Kohler just puts along and sips gas, huh? Yep, she's easy on gas. This one in particular is bad on oil. <laughs> I gotta rebuild the motor, but she never, she never left me stranded. Well, that's awesome. Well, I appreciate the time. Uh, here's just a quick other glimpse of some of the other ones. And if you go to the museum's website, you can see all sorts of videos from the rear engine ride, uh, videos from today's trail ride. Um, there is all sorts of unique stuff here. So um, definitely drop your comments in about what you're seeing and what you're hearing. And if you've got any um, knowledge on any of these sleds as well, love to hear from you. Thanks.